El Ministerio de Guerra Espiritual Mateo 13, 45, 46 le presenta una breve charla de un pastor a mí. And because God loves children, consequently, that means the devil hates them. We as parents are the priests of our home and we determine what we let in and what we celebrate in our homes. It is imperative that we are on guard from the deception and attacks of the enemy. So my question to leave with you today is this. If Halloween is all about fear, and the Bible specifically says God has not given us a spirit of fear, then why are we celebrating a holiday that celebrates it? But what does that have to do with the present? Isn't Halloween just a harmless kid's holiday? Well, this is exactly why I wanted to talk to today's guest. He can give his firsthand experience about his knowledge of the darkness this holiday is rooted in. He's a former high-ranking satanic priest who miraculously got saved and is now an evangelist, speaker, and author. Welcome to the show, Evangelist John Ramirez. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. I love Daystar. Daystar is like my number one show to watch, so... Aww. When I'm here, I feel like I'm at Toys R Us, you know? <laughs> well, so we good. are so thankful to have you. <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to establish for the viewers at home is give us some of your backstory, you know, growing up and basically how you got saved. Uh, I was a satanic devil worshiper in the high art keys of the demonic realm of the occult, which is the second, first, seven territory demons with the devil, became my daddy at the age of eight years old. Uh, I, I was sold into the dark side. I saw my allegiance, I saw my soul to the devil. I did 25 years of witchcraft, going to demon church, but I went to demon church from seven in the evening to five in the morning. I uh, The big season for us was Halloween. The big season for us was the month of October, witchcraft month. That was the big season for us. I even had a wedding. Uh, on Halloween, I got married on Halloween. I had a diabolical, demonic wedding with animal rituals, blood sacrifices, and all that to marry my, my, my ex-wife. We, we got married on Halloween because we wanted to dedicate our wedding to the devil. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I did the Halloween. I did 25 years of witchcraft. I did satanic church. I did witchcraft, astral projecting, sacrificing animal blood, witchcraft on people. Until 1999, I had a head collision with Jesus Christ, took me out of my body, put me in hell. The cross of Jesus Christ showed up in hell, um, defeated the devil in hell. I came back into my body, and I went to hell as a devil worshiper, a monster, as a satanic in the occult, and came back as a believer in Jesus Christ. It's such an incredible story. So as someone who was in witchcraft for so many years, was in Satanism, the first thing I wanted to establish to our viewers at home is the devil is a deceiver. He operates in deception. So one of his tactics is to make something intended for evil look harmless or even worse, make something evil look appealing and normal to society. Would you agree with that? Well, absolutely. One of the, one of the greatest tricks the devil pull on humanity is to make things cultural, fashionable, and acceptable. So when you dress up Halloween, when you dress up the occult, when you dress up uh, the satanic devil worshiping and allegiance to the devil, it's always gonna come dressed up as an angel of light, mm -hmm. something harmless, something that you can you can practice, something that you can be a part of, something that entertaining for you to enjoy. But in the back end of the story, you have to pay a bill with your soul. And this is exactly why I wanted to talk to you because something that I've learned is that if you want to know the darkness behind something, one of the best people you could talk to is a former Satanist because there is a lot about Satanism the public doesn't know. And you can really expose, you know, what Halloween and what these, you know, different satanic practices are about and what the intention is behind them. So I wanted you to unpack a little bit more. Why is October Witchcraft Month? for Satanists. When I was in the satanic world, we had to take things into cycles. You call it seasons. In, 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 yeah. in Jesus Christ, we call it seasons. We call it the demonic realm. We call it cycles. So every cycle has a, a demonic uh, activity going on. October is three quarters, three quarters of the cycle to mm -hmm. finish the year strong in December as a satanic devil worshiper. So my job was to finish the year. October was a month of 
I mean, unleash hell on people to witchcraft practices, rituals, ceremony, and cleansings to, to get stronger in the demonic spirit, the demonic ground, so I can finish my year strong. Mm -hmm. And that's why October is so pivotal. Even Anton Novain, which he was, the, he was the high priest that created the Church of Satan in California in the 60s. He ran that, he ran all the way till he died. He said one quote. He said, I want to thank every Christian parent that allowed their children to celebrate the devil one time a year. Mm 